Welcome back to Unreal World Mackenzie. We're trying to wrap up this Prey in a Trap quest, but after some massive initial success, this trap fence is not catching anything. We do have a trap over here at our central base that we can check. It's midnight. We're vigorous. We're doing five miles an hour. So I think we'll head over there. I'd like to sell... Oh, this, the deer apparently went to the north. They might head back, but I wouldn't count on it. Okay, we're not that far from our central base at all. It's been five days since we checked this trap, I think it said. Oh. We're in luck. This one caught the hair, finally. So the next quest is buried into the bog. You're supposed to throw an axe or a, or a knife, a metal weapon, a sword, a knife, or an axe into uh, the water at a, in a mire. When I first tried to do this one, I didn't realize that a mire and a bog were the same thing. And I was just looking everywhere for the bog biome, and it's like, I can't find it anywhere. It was very frustrating. Oh, is there more to it than that? It's got to be at night. I think that, I think it has to say night. I'm not certain, but I always go at specifically night, like not evening, not uh, midnight, not whatever, late night, night, and then build a fire, throw the weapon into the waters. So I usually buy a cheap weapon for this purpose. Like a, just something that says knife, those are very inexpensive. Um, so we'll drop the javel. No, what am I doing? Drop the spear if we're going to drop anything. But maybe we shouldn't have dropped anything. Anyway. We have some bones here. Feed the dog. And go end the life of this hare. We leveled cooking recently. Skin an animal. Oops. Rest off fatigue now, skin an animal. And drop that here. Put your four cuts. Drop the bones in the junk bone pile. 
that I guess we're starting. And okay, so this is something we're looking at. We're looking next salt from the coast. Now, technically, you can just buy salt from anywhere, but the specific instructions are to go to an archipelago and buy salt. So I'll check out maybe five cities out here. And if none of them have salt, then I'll come back here and just buy salt from a random city. But I'll at least try to fulfill the stated requirements of the task before I just say, oh, forget it. We'll do what, you know, if, if you're trying to trade for salt, what difference does it make where you go? Um, I guess we'll clean the skin. Okay, we picked up our spear. Is there anything we were thinking of? We could try baiting the traps with turnips. Uh, why don't we bring three turnips? I don't want, I don't want the whole I don't want all those traps to be full anyway I all at the same time that that doesn't appeal to me pick up this bone and put it in the junk bone pile we just started and the dog is finished eating Okay, we have meat we want to sell. So other things that are on my mind right now, this quest might expire. We've already completed it. We just haven't gotten confirmation that the spell we cast worked yet. So we have to go do that. And we also, our, our reward for completing the the, the trap fence was that we were going to be getting our masterwork knee cops. So I'd like to do that as well. Um, oh, and, and the furs are here. We can still do five miles an hour with all of these furs. And, uh, We'll need them both to buy the uh, knee cops and to um, buy the salt. Salt is, is ridiculous. Well, no, sorry. Salt is expensive. I wouldn't say ridiculously. It, it's a convenient way to preserve raw meat, but it doesn't come cheap, to put it mildly. So let's go. All right, so if the deer went north, I guess we'll put the, the turnips 
in the two northernmost traps. I failed to deliver a steady throw, so I will drop it and push. Throw. And again, drop and push. Okay, and we'll see if that works. I don't really expect it to, but It's only small hours, but I want to sell this meat and I don't feel too badly about showing up in town. The sun is up. The day has begun. Um, it's not like I'm creeping in, in the, at midnight, you know. So let's, the tasty stuff is the stuff that might spoil today. So let's get rid of that. Um, I think we have time to, to eat a bit before we do that. Let's drop the haircuts and the hair fat in the cellar with the hair skin I guess um, and eat eat the partials Excuse me. Okay. Have a drink. Bring that bone along. It doesn't weigh very much. Oh, the dog is finished, so maybe we won't. Yeah, we'll bring the larger bone. And... Okay, this is what we want to sell and we want to do it before morning. So, they're selling a dog. I don't really like how these X's are, are hiding the fact that there's a shelter here find shovel I don't care about that so let's remove that X uh, the trapping site I'll remember what that is so I don't need that X either and now you can see the trapping site I guess that one's okay I think when I move out of here you'll be able to see the uh, shelter the triangle for the shelter pretty clearly. So... They'll probably give me a hard time, but again, I don't care. The sun is up. Yep.
I should have brought some of the stale ones too. That was a little hasty. The only thing that cool they have is that battle axe. Well, maybe the other town won't be as terrible as this one. I feel like since I did come this early, I should do some. I should trade for something, but this is this is a dumpster fire. Okay, I've seen what there is to see and it's not much. So we took two and four. Okay. Yeah, we we're so close to our shelter. Let's just go back and grab as many cuts as we can carry. We won't bother with it weighing the dog down, but. That's good enough. So the 118 is stale, not stale, bland, excuse me. Oh, look at that, those, those mushrooms were here. Huh. The ones that I picked to, to get the harvest the yellow finger. Yeah. I don't remember noticing that before. I don't think that's a robber, but... Hmm...
Squirrel fur. Is there a lynx fur here, maybe? I think I can afford a lynx fur. I definitely would be able to if I hadn't let these cuts go stale. And had cooked them when they were... Oh, good. Oops. All right. Um So 249 and 22. Normally I do that thing where I try to, you know what I do. I, I would, I would try at 248 and 21 or 248 and 23, but I want to get rid of the tasties because they're the ones that are about to go stale. Whereas the, ironically, the ones that are bland um, won't go stale for a while because I just cooked them. So it's a deal. drop my cuts on the ground. There was a squirrel fur here. There's a badger fur. I don't know if they'll still take my meat though. That's the, uh, yeah, I should have tried. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Or was the squirrel fur somebody, someone's personal one? I think so. Fine linen shirt. What have I got? Rough woolen undershirt. Two and a half pounds versus five. Not quite as much coverage either. One, one, two, 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 three. 
one one two two three zero one zero two two three I mean, the woolen one is better, but it's heavier. Is it twice as good? No, it's twice as heavy. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to think about this some other time. I've got too many things I'm trying to juggle. I can't focus on what, what my optimal... day-to-day... Um, -day clothing look, should look like. I think we missed some things, didn't we? Some yarn. And I'm not trading with the same, with the, uh, the sage again. Oh, that's right. I wanted to get a knife. A normal knife. There's a fine knife, but I just want the cheapest knife they've got. There's a yarn. And I hope that the more yarn I buy, the more that they replace it with. Here we go. Nice, excellent. Just having one punt is usually, well, that's just not something I do. So let's get another punt. There's a paddle here. There's got to be a punt somewhere. Maybe it's in the northern edge of town. Huh. I'm sure I've seen it. I just can't remember where. Not there. For all this, they'll probably say, no, we don't want any more of your meat, but... And since we're close to camp, let's pick this up and then leave it at camp. Okay. That's very cheap, but it's pretty heavy. But it's very useful if you need it. Only a start. What did I buy that's so expensive? Of the punt, I guess. Okay. We'll get the punt another time. That's awfully rude. I just bought a lynx fur. I just bought a lynx fur from you clowns. What are you being so rude for?
What what was that all about? Now I can't drop. I think I can just offer things back that I don't want. I want the knife is the main thing I want now. Take the badger fur. Okay, good. Now, can I afford the rest? So he said no to 90 and yes to 91. Just kick this SOB. Anyway, we won't. But we'll give him the evil eye. No, the craftsman. It was a peasant. Where's the peasant? This guy in the hiding over here. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Peasant. With your fine linen cowl. Anyway. Um, that, that cost more than I expected it to, but we have a lynx fur, and we don't have to worry about that meat rotting anymore. Okay. It just didn't look like robbers to me. That would have been a really dumb way to die, but... Hmm. Should have traded from you. You weren't going to be a jerk about it. Like those people in the village. Okay, um, let's feed the dog. Excuse me. So that one might have been going stale, but we got most of the the plain good out of it, if it is. Um, now we can do the hair skin.
Drop the fur with the furs. Drop the turnip with the food. Drop the birch bark with the food. And drop the yarns. Drop all this stuff here. Okay. Why did I do the hair skin then? I'm not certain. I guess I could go to sleep. It won't take long for that to be ready. So we'll sleep. Okay, should be ready now. It is. So we can take that with us. We can feed the dog. And uh, now we'll stay up late enough to do the... Oh, and we've also passed the um, staleness check. Nothing went stale, so that's good. Um, we'll bring that, we'll bring all of this except the bear fur. Elk fur is good because you can make bandages out of it. And you can make cheap but decent clothing out of it. We're still doing five miles an hour. But we don't have any gear. Um, the knife. Spear. Broad knife. Just, just always bring all of your weapons. Bare bone. Shovel. Yeah, I don't think we'll be still doing five miles an hour. Nope. Drop some bones. And, um... Get this out of there, and these out of there. Okay. So let's knock this quest out and let's go get our knee cops. And what was the other thing? We're going to bury that in the bog. Then we're going to go get some salt. Oh, so we need to bring our punt. Is it not here? 
I thought we brought it with us. Didn't we? Huh. I'm sure we brought it with us. Because we need it to get the salt. Or we'll trade for one like we just tried to do now that we have all of the, so much of our fur, not all of it, but so much of it. But I thought I brought our punt. What did... I'm trying to remember what I said. I, I'm certain I considered it. Anyway. Um, call the dog. And let's go. Let me see. We just came from the southern villages, so maybe we can get a punt here. Check our traps, see if the turnips have done anything. Not yet. It's such a huge difference in value between bland and tasty. But at least we're getting some value out of them. Here's a punt. Let's find the paddle for the punt. Where there's a punt, there's always a paddle. I believe it's not in the same building. Here's the paddle. All right. Doubled.
box for in 33. Don't usually trade fur for fur, but I'm going to make an exception here. Uh, I should have brought those um, deer uh, handlers. Badger fur. No, the one we the one we don't own. Okay. Okay, fox fur in 46. So now we have lots of change for the the fur guys. We'll offer them a lynx. And then badgers, and then fine squirrel, and then squirrel, and some combination of those. I think I'll be happy with, with at least having driven the best deal that it, that I could. All right. Oh, come on, dog. Oh, that's not him. That's what confused me. Okay. So let's use our new punt. That's what we bought it for. Good. We didn't have to mess around with anything. More traders. That's a nice item, but I can order that whenever I want one. Mm. 
Mhm. I want those, but I want the knee cops more. Let me see. Now I kind of wish I had that fox for a back, but. Why do you have five? Why couldn't you have like 15 and then I'd give you a forest reindeer fur or something? No, he'd be taking too much of my change. I'm not going to do it for just five arrows. And then muck up my... My uh, knee cops trade. Coods. Have I seen Coods? Thought I had. I'm trying to remember where and when. Those are some nice items, too. Those aren't, but I'll try to introduce myself to him if, okay, he didn't run away. Hmm. What have I got left here for meat? 32 of the stale stuff. Oh, I've never even checked this place out yet. Huh.
Another master blacksmith, great. Mostly due south, but a little east. I don't think we left anything here, did we? Nothing important. Um. I just delete it. going to keep it because there's a few slender trunks there and some stones. Big whoop. Alright, let's see if we can find these guys. I'll be disappointed if we can't, but it won't be the end of the world. Fresh, yes, good. Okay, now if I don't find them, it'll be aggravating after having seen a very fresh human footprint. WTF.
Like, what's going on here? Could because the rain is preventing me from seeing their tracks on this stuff. Usually there's a nest, not just a bunch of eggs on the ground. Okay, let's see if we can do any better now that it's stopped raining. No tracks anywhere except for this one spot where they're they're they were very fresh human. Now they were, last time I saw them they were fresh. This is seven dudes or six dudes traipsing through the forest. It should not be hard to find them if they're still here. And if they're not, why was there a human track there?
But their old track should be there too. So that's a bit of a, a puzzle. The whole thing is just so frustrating. These particular traders happened to be the ones who finally had something I really wanted. I came up just short in what I had to offer. I went and got more. I was still just short. Got a little more, still just short. Now I come back. Find human, fresh human tracks. And no other sign of them. What's this? What is that? Big Arctic Fox, huh? And this is not helping either, you stupid freaking dog. Would you keep up? I will forgive you if you've, if you've got a bunch of cuts on you that I've left on you. You don't, so keep up. There's no hill or anything I can, like, have a look to see if that they're visible. But it uh, wasn't even that long ago. The big Arctic fox.
I just have to believe if they were here, there would be more tracks. And that the game is just saying, oh, you just missed them. They were here, but they vanished. feel like I've been pretty thorough. I don't have to search every square inch. I just have to search a large enough, a significant amount of a large enough area because they're wandering around. They're leaving more tracks if they're here. And I would find them. How much longer before I just give up? I probably should have given up 10 minutes ago. And then I see big s stretches like this that are almost totally unexplored. And I'm like, maybe? No, I can find this one fox, but I can't find these seven dudes. More of this one fox. But seven dudes wandering around? No. Can't find them. Um, I think we're going to give up. We're going to go northeast into that blackness. Into that tree into that blackness and if there's nothing here then we'll call it quits this is more of the fox yep can find the fox everywhere no problem seven dudes wandering around no oh. Okay, um, hey, what was that? Oh, just a lake. Hmm. Okay, let's go do that quest. I'm going to delete that bookmark. Enough of those idiots. And skin. Well, if there's a skin there, it's spoiled. I don't think there is, but given what I've done this game so far in terms of forgetting things, anything is possible. What was that? Nothing. 
a bit tired. There will be other uh, knee cops. And as long as you have knee cops, they might as well be masterwork, but it's still nice to have them. But if I take an arrow to the knee before I get my knee cops, well, we'll know why. We'll know why I died. Because of those idiot traders that wandered off and wouldn't take a fair offer. Hmm. All right, I better feed the dog. He's been, he's been a good boy. Somewhat. And... Oh, it's almost night. And that's now, right? Yeah. So we'll get something done that we needed to get done. Um, I assume there's bog up here somewhere, right? Yeah, a little bit. We can't really make it up to to where the quest is before morning. So let's um, this is bog up here, isn't it? I think so. Okay, it's night now, and we don't have time to lose. Okay. Um, everything Feed the dog. Does it say I have to be alone? I don't think so. Actually, sorry, dog. Come for now. Don't mean to torment you, but... Let's look for some branches.
I know we missed a branch there. It was visible, and then when we got close to it, it was no longer visible. And I figured, oh, there'll be another branch soon. And of course, now there are no branches anywhere. Okay, we found what we wanted. Where was it? Due south to the... There we go. So... Where's the dog? Tired of you not keeping up. This... Anyway. Drop everything but the fire stuff. Make a fire. That's the moon, not the sun, right? I hope so. I hope that this isn't... Uh... Okay. Made a fire, pick up knife, and throw it in the bog. Throw it in the bog. There you go. Okay, so salt from the coast. Your task is to travel to an archipelago to find and trade for some bags of salt. So I'm going to take the travel to an archipelago part, literally. The bags of salt part, I'm, I'm going to be content with one bag. So, if, if you consider that cheating or cheesy, well, sorry, but that's... That's my judgment call in this case. Oh, it's night and we're weary, so let's uh, let's do the do the hair skin. in uh, the same bog. and uh, maybe we'll get lucky and it won't rain. Oh, we've got a fire going, so guess what? I didn't even think of that. I had kind of forgotten about those cuts completely, so... They will burn if I um, go to sleep now, so I've got to stay up for a few minutes, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. do a weather lore. Oh, and we leveled cooking just from that. All right, three weather lores. Oh, still not enough. I guess I could have gone and made a... Uh, Spruce post while I was waiting. That's probably what I should have done. Maybe that's what I'll do now. A post spruce, I should say. Okay. That's definitely what I should have done. And pick up our crap. And don't forget the skin in the morning. And offer the dog the bone so he knows what to eat in the night if he gets hungry. And there we go. 
Okay. Feed the dog. Get that rock and that skin. Can we find a tree trunk in relatively short order? No. In a word, no, we can't. Okay. Well, by some miracle, is there one just out in the open? Negative. Okay. Well, let's get our stuff then. The dog has finished eating. And we will go find a tree trunk. In fact, we'll do it the lazy way and just do this. Oh, there's one. Okay. Pick up the bone. Feed the dog, and get the rock, and the hair skin, and finish it. Okay, we got a fine hair fur. Yeah, let's eat. Okay, good enough. Um, let's go see if that spell we cast was successful or not. Is this it? Or it's still further north, I think. Yeah, it's that one. And I'm looking for, no, not that. I'm looking for Anton. Wandering around in the Northeast. Is that him? The thief came to visit me and confessed it all. Whatever you did, it worked. Who was it and what did he say? One of our neighbors, a Drikalate tribesman called Arco, from the village directly in the southwest from here, less than a mile away, confessed and apologized. Very good. And he says, uh, I have this lucky hare's paw, which I now want to give you. I've had my share of this lucky charm, and I hope it turns out to be a fine reward for you. Apply the paw when you desire luck with any attempt at all. So, I'll try to be wise with it. So, we completed that quest. I don't know if we had to do all that stuff, or if we just had to say that we did. But, anyway, I assume we had to do it. But I don't know, because I've never lied and said I did it when I hadn't done it. Um, so now, salt from the coast. At least we have lots of furs that we might not have if we had bought that knee cops.
Boo, I forgot. Hurt. Failed to notice that it was a walled city. There's the deer that are still around. I think I killed one of those deer, but that's all. Um. All right, let's talk to this dude. Okay, I'm not talking to Arco. That's the guy. That's the guy that, um. that the thief, that's the thief, is Arco. It, it's not up to me to, uh, to talk to the thief. I talked to him in the last game and kind of made a, an enemy. And it's like, why make an enemy? For all I know, the guy sent the robbers after me who killed me in, 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 the, in the last game. So, why make an enemy? I hope it doesn't prompt me for the rest of eternity to, oh, you know, talk to this guy. Maybe I can talk to him and then not trigger anything? Inside in the north. Okay. Maybe we will try to talk to him and not, not bring up anything. See, I, the last game I, I did the, the, you know, the normal prompt. It must be you who kept stealing birds around here. Um, no. Goodbye. Goodbye, Arco. Everyone knows he's a thief. He could fast. You know, it's not like, it's not like by me not rubbing salt in his wounds, I'm letting him get away with it or anything, so. Maybe there's a good reason to confront him, though. Maybe there's some hidden reward. But I did my bit already, in my opinion. Oh. Yeah, I want to... I want to dump some more of this... Oh, but I need it for trading for salt. I was thinking I needed to dump some of this, uh, some more of these cuts. But I only have 29 left, and they're good change for, for the salt. So I've been wasting a bit of time there. What was this in white? Oh, that's where the feather thief was. Okay. And that's where the, the hand axe quest was. Let me make sure. I mean, I don't think I can really... So I go southwest from here. Let me have something to drink, though, from a fresh water before I... I don't like drinking from the sea, even though the game lets you do it. Maybe that there's something to that in real life. It doesn't seem like it it would work in real life to me. So blah blah blah. All right, let's feed the dog before we go out there and then eat something.
drop everything, pick up two of those. You're wasting your eating time there, dog. Oh, well, you lose, because that was the time to eat, not the time to run around pretending you didn't see where the bone went. Pick up. Let's put on my my uh, battle gear, just so it's not cluttering the boat. Pick up the paddle, wheeled paddle. I don't expect to even find any salt here, which is the sad part, but it's what the game tells you to do, so. I'm going to say five villages. Once I visited five villages, then that was a good faith effort, and I can go back and buy salt in Dreek. Okay, there's my first village. Still doing five miles an hour, so I'll keep going. Hello there, Islander. Hello there, Sage. Yeah, if I don't find salt in the five villages, then I think this is the last game that I'll take this task so literally, because I'm just completely wasting my time by doing this. Well, nothing in very little in this game is a complete waste of time. I'm exploring, but that's not what I want. What I want is to be knocking out these tasks very efficiently. I was going to say as efficiently as possible. That's an overbid, but very efficiently. Okay, first village, no salt. I need to find... need to find uh, four more paddle wield it's early evening and I'm a bit tired Visibility is pretty good, but it won't be for long. Alright, let's keep going where we're going. Yeah, visibility is rapidly diminishing. And then it came back a bit. And we are having very poor luck. I'm sure we've gone by several villages. Oh, here's one. And we hear a wolf in the sea. Hmm. I don't think there are wolves in the sea, but I could be wrong. OK, 
Okay, so talk to this guy, see what his skill level is. Decent? No. No wonder he's so grumpy. I paddled across the sea to he here. Why do you have to have such a crappy little village? Hmm? With little more than a sauna in it. A sauna and a common room. And a little shack. Anyway, too bad. Um, we're weary. So, we'll do some herb lore. I can't completely neglect that. And, uh, feed the dog. And, you can pretend you didn't see that where that went either and be hungry. I don't care. Ooh. Excuse me. And of course it starts raining. Oh, he found it. It's a miracle. Um, I don't... I've got to call him off the bone or... By some miracle, we could have a post spruce in a heathland. I wonder if the game is designed so that that configuration of trees doesn't happen. Anyway, let's see. No, nope, that's all we've got is Heathland. Is it possible to have two spruce trees next to each other in a Heathland? I feel like if I see two spruce trees next to each other, even if they're not one full size and one small, that that it's possible. Hmm. That's very close over there, but to the northwest. One space between them. I should try to make a mental note. Oh, so I think it is possible. There's two full-size trees next to each other. Right here. Of course, the game could allow for that and not for the other. Um... So annoying. I think we've been at this a while. Sorry for my bad attitude. I'll try to be better tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.